All right, so we were told we were going to have to secure a tool in order for it to be hoisted. He also told us that we were going to use a clove hitch at the bottom then put that running in around the bottom of the tool and go up to two half hitches. So this is how we're going to do this. At least this is how I'm going to do this. Get this camera set up. All right, so here's our tool. However it is, and hold it secure it there however it is that you do your clove hitch you're gonna to have to make that clove hitch and put it over this tool now when we're doing it in class this line is gonna to have to be long enough to be the tag line that's what he was talking about that's why we're doing it with this method instead of the over. This tag line will be stabilizing it. So if we're lifting it up, this line is going to have to be held by someone on the ground to keep it from banging against the building. So that tag line would be longer. This would be further towards the middle of the rope. So we have our clove hitch here. Then this rope is going to go underneath. So you just pick up the axe and set it on that rope. So now it's going underneath it. Now we're going to do two half hitches. The important thing is that you get that half hitch on here so that this comes underneath and you're pulling up against the knot instead of having it over well I still got it right having it over or that's just gonna pull that out so again it's gonna go on here and I of course now have it so it's on the other side of the tool but so you're gonna bring this down a little bit adjust that down and then do it again with another one so then you have these two half hitches on the handle and your clove hitch down here and then the rope running underneath the head of the axe. And then that can then be hoisted like this. And this rope, again, will serve as the tag line, the control line from the ground, so this thing doesn't go banging into buildings, breaking windows, and causing the cancers.